In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern's light. I actually remember back when this movie was first coming out, a bunch of people who only knew Green Lantern from the cartoon would said, Beware my power, Green Lantern's white! Because they thought that they whitewashed Green Lantern, a bunch of idiots like covered it actually on YouTube, on videos and news outlets. And I was constantly commenting, you know how Jordan came before Jon Stewart? Because Green Lantern, one of the few superheroes who, it actually is a title. It's not supposed to be just a one person. Green Lantern is a core. Uh, I actually liked the film, and a lot of people hated it. But I have watched a bunch of garbage in my, in my life. So I can tell the difference between a really big pile of garbage and an okay movie. And I thought this movie was okay. I liked it. And I bought the Steelbook because, as I said, I was a Green Lantern fan. And it is a really nice looking one. It's a shame, shame the inside's blank. This 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 is the reason why I was going to custom start customizing these things. My my these ones instead of just making my own ones like I'm going to be doing or I already have. The video's been up by now. Because I don't like the silver inside. And you know, this really should have been green. I know Warner Brothers is a whole black thing, and at least they put artwork on there, but still. Here is the J card. This is actually the this is actually the way I copied it to I copied this format from when I was doing like DVD covers and that kind of stuff for my uh, project. Because even though Disney doesn't do this kind of stuff, I just did this anyways for my it was episode one in 3D. And you can actually see the crease because before I got these things, I would put the J card inside the steel book. And if you only saw the movie in theaters, give it another shot on the extended version. Because, like I've always say, D DC and Warner Brothers should really trust their damn directors and not force them. You you hire somebody to do a job, let them do it. Because every version of the movies that come out, this one, uh, Batman vs Superman, Watchmen, the director's cuts better. It's like even Marvel. It's had the same problem with Fox Marvel with uh, Daredevil. The director's cut, hell of a lot better. Ghost Rider, director's cut, hell of a lot better. So I always say, if you don't like a movie, give it another shot with the director's cut. And, you know, there's a full thing if you want. And as always, have a good one.